Oh. Want me to do some, uh, let's see, what we got? Let's do this, the opening. Can you feel it? <laughs> All right, we got we got some new equipment now. You know what I'm saying? We ain't gotta worry about the speaker dying in the joint. You know what I'm saying? We got <laughs> got new and approved. Yes, sir. You know my man Curtis on the ones and twos over here. Yeah, man. Got. I'm trying to get the microphone back in effect. So, uh, you know, so far so good on that. So we shall see how that works out. Um, but yeah, welcome to Trying Hip Hop Podcast. Uh, this is episode two thirty nine. Yes, sir. Do it. And do it. Uh, do it. this your boy Kurt, and this is Howard. All right. So, uh, how was your uh, week this week? Oh, week was pretty good. Uh... Didn't do too much anything. Um, looking forward to this weekend. I'm taking uh, my girl. She likes uh, Korean food and stuff. They got like a festival going on uh, this weekend, so we're gonna go check it out. It's on. I think it's in North Elm Street. Oh yeah, yeah but it's so like all the, yeah, yeah. Okay, it's got okay. all the it's got like all the Asian stuff. So I try to support all my Asian brothers so they can understand that there's no Asian hate. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. From my black ass. <laughs> I mean, you know, yeah. I, I I would definitely go. Um, I'm not a, I'm not a, that big on Korean food. I ain't gonna lie, but I would still go to support. Uh, what day did you say it was? Today? Uh, Saturday. Saturday. Yeah, it was, okay. uh, I think Saturday the twenty. Um, twenty second. Hold on, let me see. Twenty second. Twenty second. Yeah. Yeah. Because tomorrow's the twenty. Yeah. Damn. Yep. Yeah, so time is flying on us, man. Yeah, I'm telling you, man, this shit crazy. Shit. But crazy. yeah, um, how's everything with work going? Uh, work is all right. Actually, like I said, today we was kind of, that's the reason why I was a little bit behind. Uh, we actually had a guy, uh, our guy um, that picks up, uh, not to get too personal, he has some personal things to take care of. So we were trying to get him picked. Originally, he was going to pick up tomorrow. But yeah, he picked up today, and then we had to run up to um, a place to show off our furniture and whatnot. So yeah, it was it's just been crazy, man. But we getting it going, man. But how how about you, man? How's how's work going? And everything? Um, I mean, work is going good. You know, what I mean, it's work. You know, what I mean, yeah. it's still you know, ain't nothing uh, to to uh, jump for joy about. You know, when it comes to the job, but um. It's still paying the bills, you know, so I ain't gonna front. But, um, but yeah, I mean, you know, they definitely got some stuff they need to improve at the job, man, because uh, they be driving folks crazy, man, with the, with a lot of the rules and stuff that they do, and you know, it's, it's just not good, but overall it's okay, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, my week's been pretty good, you know, I ain't gonna front, you know, just, just I'm enjoying my new place, the new back cave, you know what I mean? And uh, <laughs> learning the new neighborhood and all of that, you know, so uh, everything's been good. I ain't gonna complain. So, um, but yeah, uh, um, we can go ahead and kind of jump into uh, some stuff here. Wanted to uh, give an RIP. We just lost the um, famous preacher, Christian preacher, uh, Charles Stanley. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, he passed away. Uh, do you know about how old he was? He was 90. He was 90. Okay, I knew he was up there. 90. I was going to say 80-something, but, you know, he was definitely up there. So, uh, you know, when I was uh, doing the Christian thing, I used to see him on TV all the time. So, you know, I remember him um, and all of those guys. So, but, yeah, um, and then, uh, you know, we just want to give him a rest in peace. But also we want to make mention of a story that just recently came out where a young black man was shot by an older, older white guy because uh, he came to the wrong door. Well, I mean, to me, that shit's crazy. Well, what happened was, to give context of the story, what happened, he was look. he has two twin brothers, they were uh, 11 years old, and he he himself, the guy who got shot, he was 16, 16 years old. Right. He was looking for his brother, his brothers just wanted to see if anybody seen him. This happened in Missouri. So 
you know, just to give. You know, so he wasn't like mixing this guy's house up with nobody else. Nah, he was just he was knocking just on the door. Just saying, have you hey, seen these kids? His kids? Have you seen, you know what I'm saying? That's that's all it was. And my man shot him twice. Like, why twice? twice? That's crazy, man. I mean, he didn't even enter your property. He just knocked on your door. Dang, I would see. love to know how that conversation went because, I mean, I don't care how old this white guy is. He was like 84. He needed to go to jail. And he need his ass whooped while he in there. You know, he need to get fucked up like every day like, for that bullshit. Ah! Exactly. Slap the shit out of that nigga. <laughs> so, yeah, we're going to give him the big boo. Yes, sir. So, um, you know, we'll follow that story and see what happens. Because uh, I hope they don't give him like a, 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 you know, pat on the wrist or whatever you call it. Um, and let him off. Oh, well, he's old. He didn't know. You know, somebody, his family going to come out and say, oh, he, he's seen now. He didn't realize what he was doing. When he cocked the gun the first time, he was confused. And when he cocked it the second yeah. time, he was confused again. Dang, he was confused again. <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing. Yeah, I mean, don't get me wrong. Normally, you know, when you shoot someone two times, right. that's usually an accident. But if you shoot someone three times, that's that's no accident. Right. But in that case, like the dude knocked on the door, and you already, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. You know, I, I can understand the dude had a weapon, then you shoot twice. I understand the dude didn't even have no weapon. He wasn't even pro, uh, proposing a threat. You yeah. know what I'm saying? So, yeah, he was right. basically a good old boy, and he was looking for a chance to take another black man off the streets. You know yeah. what I mean? That, that's the way I look at it, you know? And um, so, yeah, you know, I, I hope he faced the fullest penalty. Um, you know, and I don't care if they say, oh, he's old, we should give him a shorter sentence. Nah, nah fuck yeah, that. I didn't give that to Bill Collins. Right, right. Who had more money than this guy? Exactly. So. I didn't give that to me. Yeah. You man with the pudding and put him up and you know, you got to check the pudding. No. Oh, exactly. So, and yeah. put him in there with the population. Let them make see what he did. You know what I mean? All of them. He's going to get the Shut essays the all up. Shit <laughs> up. Yeah, man. So um, let's go ahead and give a, a moment of silence uh, for um, Mr. Charles Stanley just to, you know, pay respects. All right, thank y'all for doing that with us. Um, so yeah, the, the young kid that got shot, he um, did not die, but he did get wounded pretty bad. So, you know, the older, uh, older white guy, his name is Andrew Lester. So, you know, everybody, you know, uh, wherever, where, where were they living at? Do you remember? It was in Missouri. Missouri, okay. So anybody out there in Missouri, you need to uh, make sure the voices are heard on this case, you know what I mean? Anybody around the world, if you can sign petitions or whatever, man, show them that this man needs to be punished. You know what I mean? So, because uh, even though this young kid didn't die, you know what I mean? He got shot twice. Well, he got that, was definitely, that was definitely a 10. Exactly. You know what I'm saying? So, and, and it was racist to me. You yeah. know what I mean? There's nothing else that can explain it. You know, he can't say I would have done that to anybody. You full of shit. I don't believe that. So, um... All right, we can uh, move on. Did you have anything for the question of the day? Yeah, I think we have something for the question of the day. It uh, goes along with, uh, you know, Charles Stanley passing. Okay, okay. Where is God in hip-hop? Oh, okay, okay. And you can kind of swap out, not that they're equal, but you can kind of swap out where is religion in hip-hop. Right, right. So we can, you know, saying if you want to swap, swap it out. Oh... Uh, I mean, honestly, man, I think um, if you if you look at the pattern of behavior, most people, most, not all, but most people who really delve into religion kind of step away from hip-hop. Because, you know, Mace, when he was really trying to get religious, he kind of stepped away. Craig Mack, when he was trying to get religious, he stepped away. Loon, when he was trying to get religious, he stepped away. You know what I mean? But there are some people who kind of try to mix it up a little bit. You know what I mean? Like Black Thought, he's a uh, Muslim and... He throws some Muslim Islamic scriptures in some of his rhymes sometime about the Prophet Muhammad, peace be upon him, and the Holy Quran. And, you know, I hear some some people rapping about Christianity every now and then. And it, in Christian uh, gospel music, they got a lot of Christian rappers um, that are actually dope, too. But um, 
I don't know. Overall, it's hard to say if if that'll ever be an overwhelming thing where a lot of people are rapping and mentioning God or religion. You know what I mean? What do you think? Well, I I I'll say it like this. I think hip hop is a religion to a certain degree. I do think it's a thing that was created by God. It's a form of expression that, you know, we we as, you know, melanated people have created to express ourselves. You know what I'm saying? To express how we feel and how we was to move and, you know, elevate and whatnot. Uh, have other groups came in and exploited? Yes. But it's still, I mean, there's still some, you know, what you say, like the culture vultures, but it's still come intact. So I, I think, um, yeah, I think religion is it, still, is there and it's not there because everything everything is definitely a little bit more secular, you know, but I think it's still, it's, as far as like what you're saying, like Black God is Muslim, let's say like um, LA Symphony, they're Christian, but we can all come under the banner of hip hop and rock and money. Absolutely. That's yeah. true. Yeah. yeah. And I mean, you know, I think, you know, like you said, you know, God is in everything, you know what I mean? But, um, you know, it just depends on the perspective or perception that you take in your music, you know what I mean? So, you know, I mean, you can really tell a lot of people, a lot about people in their music and their lyrics and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, how they come across. But yeah, I think that's a good question. Y'all let us know in the comments, you know, where is uh, God at in, in, in religion at in uh, hip hop? You know what I mean? Because mm -hmm. um, you definitely got some satanic people in there. Oh, yes. <laughs> so, uh, yeah, we're not even going to talk about that too much, but uh, they in there. Uh, they Well, I will say it like this. I think some of those people are pushed. It ain't just them. Because, you know what I'm saying? Like, it ain't just... Like, oh, this, you know, they want to blame the rapper. And this is where I'm going back to the religion. You know what I'm saying? You ain't never seen, people thinking like, oh, these rappers are menacing and stuff. Have you ever seen a boatload of rappers come to a shore to, I don't know, fucking Europe? Right. Start enslaving the people? Exactly. Like under the guise of Christianity? Yeah. That's what I'm getting. Yeah. God <laughs> wants us to take you. Yeah. <laughs> don't get and, and and don't get me wrong. I'm not and that's that's not a slight at because I know for the most part, Christians, most for the most part, they're just regular people, just like everybody else. They're regular people. We just want to work. We want to provide for our family. We want to go home. That's it. Yeah, that's it. That's it. I get it. You know what I'm saying? But the powers that be up top, you know what I'm saying? They want to do, they want to do these things. And just going back to what you said with the satanic thing, I don't think necessarily the artists itself themselves are satanic to a degree. I mean, yeah, there might be something here and there, I get it. But I think it's more so of the record label pushing it. Because if if the record labels weren't satanic, they would yeah, and I mean, I get what you're saying, too. But to me, if you agree to it and you allow it to creep into your music yeah. or your, your lifestyle, then you part of it. You know yeah, what I mean? That's it. I mean, if if, uh, if I'm a Muslim and I go to a regular label and they say, we really want you to do Christian music, even though you're Muslim, just do it in the music. If I'm in the music saying, you know, I believe that Jesus is my God, then that means I'm a Christian. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? I, I, whatever comes out of your mouth, that's that's what you profess. And so you can't say, well, off the mic, I'm Muslim. Nah, it don't work like that. You know what I mean? Or you can't be a Christian and, you know, saying, well, I, I don't believe in Jesus no more. You know what I mean? I believe in in, in Buddha or whatever, you know, in my lyrics, just because that's pleasing the record label or helping you sell music. Now, you part of it now. You done said it. You know, life and death is in the tongue. That's in your Bible. You Dang. know what I mean? You, you tell me niggas Muslims on Saturday. That's what you should say. <laughs> I'm Muslim on Saturday. Nigga. <laughs> right. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm Muslim on Saturday. Yeah, you know, on that's my Saturday. holy day. Other day is a little different. <laughs> so, yeah. But um, y'all tell us in the comments what y'all think about that. You know, I think that's an interesting question. And, uh, you know, don't forget, hit the buttons. Like. like. 
share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe, like, share, subscribe. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. Brothers and sisters. We need funds. Allocate. Allocate for more equipment. Yep. For the podcast. Yep, yep. <laughs> See, we coming up. We See, coming we coming up. up. We coming up. We coming up. Man. Yeah, we coming up. Got, got a little, you know, a little joint yeah, right here. Yeah, man. We on the come up, man. Yeah, man. So, um, so yeah, you know, just uh, we appreciate y'all sticking with us. The, those of y'all who do stick with us and inviting your friends and all that. So, and those who, uh, you know, enjoying in the conversation and stuff like that. So, much appreciated. All right, so uh, let me go ahead and jump into some birthdays real quick. I'm not sure if I mentioned this last week because I stopped around April 17th when I did my last week's birthdays. But uh, one birthday I might have missed was Grandmaster Kaz. He has a birthday on April 17th. Oh, my man. Yeah, so just the other day he celebrated his birthday. Um on April 18th, which was, uh, was that yesterday, right? Yeah, it was yesterday. Um, Fred Drill Star, happy birthday to him from Onyx. Right, right, right. right. Uh, today, April 19th, Mr. Suge Marion Knight. Oh, uh, yeah. Shit. So, you know. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, hold on. So, Dr. Charles Stanley died on my man Suge Knight. <laughs> Bur- Yo. <laughs> Yo, that that's wild. Yeah, man. That's yeah, wild. Man. So uh Sugar's out here putting fear in folks, man. Yeah. <laughs> still putting fear. Yeah. He's, still, he's still in prison though, right? Uh, I believe. Anyway. Look, I don't know. Anytime I say that nigga name, I'm, <laughs> I'm just like, look, I don't care how many times well, the barber knocked my man out. Right, right. But, <laughs> hey. I don't say that nigga out. That's what I love saying. That's, that's, I, I act like he out. You know what I mean? <laughs> just in case. <laughs> Hell yeah, just in case. But um, but anyway, uh, coming up tomorrow on April twentieth, we got my man Killer Mike. You know what I mean? Okay. Um, oh, yes. Yep. And then uh, on April twenty second, we got MGK, also DJ Drama, and the Queen Bahamadia. Happy birthday to all three of them. Um. On April 23rd, we got Little Easy E, you know, right. Little Easy E, his son. Uh, also on April 23rd, Tony Sunshine from Terror Squad. All right. uh, I'm assuming he's still with Terror Squad. I ain't really, you know, heard much from him lately, but I don't know. But still, happy birthday to him. Um, coming up on April 24th, the legend, Coke LaRock. Yes. Uh-huh. Happy birthday to him. And who shares the same day as him? Reek the Villain. Right, so happy right, birthday to right, for right, right. And uh, last but not least, on April 25th, we got my man Jazzy Faye. All Jazzy right. Fizzle. So happy birthday to all of them. Let's give them some applause or something. I feel like that should be louder. I don't know why I can't get it louder, but let's give them some cheering too. There we go, there we go. All right. So anyway, uh, let's see. Let me jump into some new music. I uh, got a few things. So, my man Farrell Monch has announced he got a new album coming soon. So, I'm excited about that. Um, I don't know the name. I don't think he really mentioned it. He just said that he's working on something that'll be out soon. And he said this is going to be his greatest album ever. Oh, okay. So, yeah. Okay. I mean, you know, that's a lot because you got you got songs like Simon Says. I don't know, man. That, that's one of your dopest joints. So, we're going to see. Nah, uh, got on the training day joint. Got you. Yeah, 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 yeah. Show hands. Oh, I guess the wall is spread them. I was just saying, not just take them. Fuck you. Fuck you. Yeah, that's that yes, my sir. shit right there, yes, sir. Yeah, well, yeah, yeah Farrell Marsh, man. He got some classics out there, man. Um, the joint did with Nate Dogg and most of them. Yep. Um, oh, that no. Cool. Yeah, he has some joint. Though. Yep. So, um, also, uh, my man 38 Special out of New York, he got a new Uh-oh. joint called Crowned King. So, uh, shout out to him. Toby and Weegway got a new joint called Bravo. All right. Uh, some dude named Fuego Bass, who did a song called The Warehouse, and it features Benny the Butcher. That's Damn. a um, dope song. Yeah, I man. need to be bumping that. Yeah. Just for personal reasons. So, yeah. <laughs> yeah, The Warehouse, yeah. The Warehouse. So, um, but yeah, that's all I have for my music. You know what I mean? Shout out to all of them. We'll give them some uh, cheers. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good, good, good. So, uh, um, anytime we can hear new music, we love to talk about that. Especially that real hardcore hip-hop. You know what I mean? So...